Hello guys, this is Ken. So today I'm going to talk about a very helpful uh, that uh, the article that shared by one of my best friends. Mm, so it's called how to use SGAR start technique in the job interview. Okay, mm, competency questions make up a large part of most job interviews and from a company's point of view they are now an uh, objective assessment of a candidate's experience and the qualities that make them suitable for the job is known as the start technique and by using questions that require these types of answer it is easier for the employer to compare all the people who are applying for the job in a methodical and a structured way. By using this step-by-step -step method, you will be able to answer each question in a systematic manner without forgetting the important stuff. Here, we, took, we take a look at every stage of the start interview method. The answer to this question will usually be between a minute and three minutes long. S stands for situation, set the scene. T stands for task, describe the purpose. A stands for action, explain what you did. R stands for results, share the outcome. So situation, this is about setting the scene, giving context and background to the situation. So if you are asked a question about time management, your reply would need to include the details of the project you are working on, who you are working with, when it happened, and where you are. Task, this is more specific uh, to your exact role in the situation. You need to make sure that the interviewer knows what you are tasked with rather than the rest of the team. Action, this is the most important part of the STAR technique because it allows you to highlight what your response was. Remember, you need to talk about what your specific, uh, spec specification, spec specificate, sorry, I'm not familiar with this word. Specifically. 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 Did. So using I rather than team actions. Otherwise, you won't be showing off the necessary uh, scares the employer is looking for. Be sure to share a lot of detail. The interviewer will not be familiar with your history, although remember to avoid any Arcanums and the institutional language. What you are trying to get across here is how you assessed and decide what was the appropriate response to the situation and how you got the other team members involved, which is turn, uh, which in turn is a great way to demonstrate your communication skills. For example, when you are asked about dealing with a difficult personality on your team, you will talk about how you decided to take a certain course of action to avoid making the situation worse or upsetting the individual. Result, the result should be a positive one and uh, I, I ideally uh, one that can be uh, quantified. Examples include repeat business and the increase in sales by 15% of uh, saving the team five hours away a week. The interviewer will also want to know you what you learned from that situation and if uh, there was anything you would do differently the next time you are faced with that situation. The, the STAR technique enables you to showcase your relevant experience with the interviewer in a methodical manner. 
we recommend doing some in-depth preparation before the interview so that you can have some great examples to quote. Alright, now is the end of this article. Mm, all the best. Uh, if you have an uh, interview, all the best for your future interview and uh, um, wish you guys best of luck.